Hello friends, this is Dr. Saurabh Patwadan from Nandadipai Hospital and FACO Training Center and in this video I will be showing a trick to remove the subincisional cortex. So this was a case of heart cataract and already pterygium surgery has been done. You can see there is a opacity on the nasal side there and I am going to do a cortex removal step here using the coaxial IA. And uh, as I start off the cortex respiration, I could see there was a small nucleus piece which has to be removed first and then I start off with the cortex aspiration. Uh, I can feel that the posterior capsule is little bit redundant here, possibly because the fluid has gone behind it in the Berger space and you can see the small opacities behind the posterior capsule indicating the accumulation of the fluid there. And that's why I am a bit more, uh, I would say, observant here. And you can see those folds in the posterior capsule over there, showing the redundancy of the capsule and those small debris behind the capsule. And in such cases, I have to be extra careful because uh, the eye probe might catch the posterior capsule and tear it if I am not observant. And uh, as I reach the sub-incisional cortex, I find that uh, because of the redundancy of the posterior capsule, the IA probe is holding it quite often and uh, I am not able to loosen the sub cortex here despite uh, some efforts. I don't want to complicate this case by rupturing the posterior capsule. So I have to start thinking what alternative method should I use. There again you can see that I keep holding the posterior capsule and I don't want it to be ruptured. So there is one option of uh, doing bimanual IA here. I don't want to make another incision. So I decide that uh, I'll put IOL inside and uh, I will use that IOL for removing the sub cell cortex. So let's see how I do it. So this is a foldable IL, so I am going to put it in the bag. Let the haptic get unfolded. Go, it should go in the equator of the bag. Once it reaches the equator, I will push with some visco and then rotate the IL such a way that haptic starts rubbing the subincisional cortex. So it gets loose and I uh, will be able to remove it with my coaxial eye probe here as you can see I approach the sub cortex here and you can see it has become already loose and it comes off very easily so that's the end of cortex aspiration and this is how we can utilize the IOL for loosening the sub cortex I think the important tip was to rotate the IOL when it is completely unfolded And uh, in this case, I think it, it was a good observation and also you all will understand how one should be careful when there is a fluid deviation and there is fluid accumulation in the Berger space. You can see that uh, posterior capsule redundancy in this case very clearly and these are the cases where you have to be very careful with uh, all your maneuvers. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also watch more videos on fakotraining.org.in. You can submit your own videos for review and publishing on this website. Thank you so much.